Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Level Design Essential Series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can get used to the user interface. So having said that, we are not going to be teaching you how to make anything in terms of game development, we are instead just going to take 5 or 6 minutes to run through the user interface so that you can familiarise yourself with it, follow along a little bit easier and in terms of actually using the elements that is something that we're going to be doing over the duration of the series so we're just going to be naming each of the elements talking them a little bit about them a little bit and going from there so first things first we are going to start off with the main level editor the main level editor is pretty much your whole screen and is going to be used for developing your levels inside of unreal engine 4. Now within the level editor we have a bunch of different elements. For me I have broken them down into the menu in the tab bar at the top, the toolbar, the world outliner, the details panel, the content browser and also the modes panel and we're going to quickly go through and talk about these in a little bit of detail. So first things first I'm going to start off with the most important part which is the viewport. Your viewport is essentially your way of seeing the game or the level, the map, whatever you want to call it, but this is going to allow you to see exactly what you're creating. And you can see me just flying around here, don't worry if you can't do that just yet. Um, but the important thing is with the viewport, you are going to be using this to place your objects, move them around, rotate them and all of that good stuff. Um, but once again, like I said, this is something that we're going to be going into a little bit more detail about later on in this series. So moving on from there, we are going to go and take a look at the world outliner. In the top right hand corner you have this little panel and what this panel is for is to outline all of the objects within your scene. So if I quickly scroll up and down my world outliner here you can see that I've got some floor pieces, I've got some wall pieces and also within this I'm going to have some lights and other elements and all of these elements are going to be things that we create throughout the series. Moving on from this Going down we have got the details panel. The details panel is also pretty straightforward. Whenever we select an object we are going to have a bunch of details about that object that we can change. So for example if I was to click this little box that I've got here in my scene, selecting it through the viewport then we get the details for this cube and from this cube I can change things like scale, location, rotation and pretty much any other detail about this. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the details panel for now. All of these settings and all of these details we are going to familiarize ourselves with as we go through this series. So as of right now you might not know what collision settings are or light mass settings, it's absolutely nothing to worry about. The important bit is that you know what the details panel is and what it's there for. Moving on, the next bit is your content browser. The content browser is essentially your way of browsing through all of the content within your project. Now, this is where the project and level thing sort of comes into play. Each of your projects are gonna have their own separate assets. So if I have one game, that game is gonna have a bunch of assets. If I have another game, I'm gonna have it in another project and that will also have its own separate assets. All of these assets, however, are going to be shown in your little sources panel here. And then within this, you've got files, you've got folders and all of that good stuff. And you can use this to navigate and find some stuff. So for example, in my content browser, I could go to my meshes, which are essentially models. And then I can use that to bring in, say, a ramp model or something. Don't worry about doing that for now. That is pretty much all you need to know about the content browser. Like I said, we'll be touching that up in a little bit more detail later on. So moving on, the next thing that we need to go into is the modes panel. Now inside of the level editor, you've got a couple of different ways we can edit things. Now we've got the normal placing mode, we've got the painting node for painting, we've got a landscape node, a foliage mode and a geometry mode, and each one of these are gonna do different things. However, 
the important thing is, is that you know that your modes panel is going to allow you to switch between the different nodes and then complete different actions based on the node that you're doing. So for example, if you're in the painting mode, you are going to know that you are going to be able to start painting things using the different tools within there. If I was within the landscape mode, you know, I'm going to be, ac uh, be able to access a bunch of tools relating to crafting a terrain within your level and all of that good stuff. So moving on to the last two sections, the next one is our toolbar. This is pretty much going to give you quick access to commonly used buttons. So you are commonly going to want to go to your cinematics, build, uh, build your level, you know, press play, launch, save the game, that kind of stuff. It's pretty much just quick and easy access to common functions within Unreal Engine 4. And now lastly, going up to the menu and tab bar, Starting off, we've got the tab bar at the top. So if you've got multiple things open, so for example, if I was open to go and open one of these static meshes, I could then drag it, in, drag it into my tabs at the top here and just switch between them. So you can see here, the main tab at the moment is the level, which is third person example map. And then we've also got a tab, which is dedicated to the static mesh that we've got here. Now don't worry about this second tab, it's nothing to worry about, but the important thing is, you know you can switch between different windows within Unreal Engine 4 in the same way that you can with an internet browser like Google Chrome. Beneath this, you have also got your menu, so if you go to file, you've got common functions like save, open, um, package your projects, and so on. Within edit, you can you know proceed to edit project settings, editor preferences, don't worry about all of these different options for now, you will be familiarized with those as we go on through this series. Anyway, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to quickly show you in terms of the user interface. Hopefully you should know what each of the different panels are. Also, make sure you check out the companion guide if you are a Patreon, and from there we can break all of this down a little bit easier. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, and make sure you move on to the next video. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.